what is architecture? Um, architecture is a beautiful discipline, which I believe um, has the ability to offer new realities and create new conditions. It is also a, um, a mirror of our times. And actually for me and for us, I think what is to come and the future because we intend to live here. So it is also a kind of method to um, produce forms for living. In our view, always dealing with, ideally dealing with sufficiencies and turning those sufficiencies into environments and buildings which kind of embed the values that we really care for. What can architecture do? It can, it can, it can excite. I think it can engage. I, it can, I think it can motivate, it can educate, it can collect, it can protest. For me, most importantly, a good architecture is the architecture that can pick up anyone in the world and just invite them to use it. Um, it does not distinguish. It does not create, create class. It essentially works for everyone, with everyone, every day. And it's, to me, the, the most important architecture is the architecture that can um, be approachable in an easiest way possible. And the one that also has uncertainties, that is not finished, that sort of has to leave in itself a space that, uh, or you could say evolution, but also just something that will still come. What is your architectural position? Oh, it's that's changing every time. Uh, I think that's that really depends who you talk to. Um, within the team, within the project, within the kind of large, large surface on the large kind of uh, canvas of things, I would say a um, a position is to create meaningful architecture for uh, not just architects but everyone else. I'm interested to, to speak about to everyone else and not the kind of 1% of the world population. And also beyond, of course, uh, what we know today is only our human needs. I would say the position is to ask or redefine the most important question each single time. And it's the question that somehow, again, like takes the, the values that are really relevant and tries to put them, put them forward in a framework, spatial, propositional framework, uh, for everyone to kind of deal with. And I would say, um, in that sense, a position will always change, the values will not change, but essentially the propos propositions will be different every single time, depending on, on the complexities. What is your design method? Um, it's to deal with uncertainties. And it's also pretty much to ask always the most um, difficult question that also is not just about being difficult or complicated, but it's actually the one where we can learn. I think whenever we design, we ask ourselves, what, what can we learn? What can we do that we haven't done before, that hasn't been done before? Not essentially just always trying to be inventive or so, but actually just trying to kind of change what we traditionally are taught architectural method is even if that requires a complete change of strategical, spatial, propositional um, outcome and methodologies. I think for, for, for us, um, a method of designing architecture is the conversation. And through this conversation, making environments and creating encounters with various expertises that help architecture really create that strong form that we're all interested in. What is the future of architecture? Um, I think it is to uh, start very early at age, to educate not when you're 20 something, but to start when you're two, one, two, three, and to go throughout the whole lifetime. I think the architecture has to be taken out of any kind of professional framework, and it has to become uh, uh, a part of an educational system that then really speaks about all the relevant questions of the day.
politics, sustain, sustainable natures, uh, uh, construction, economics, uh, inequalities, wealth, well-being, all through uh, early age education.